What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well and enjoying your day. Now, today is supposed to be a leg day. However, we're going to the gym with Hanny again. So if you guys haven't seen that video, it's I hit three plates, which I did, but I did for push-ups. Perhaps we'll do it today, we will see, but today was supposed to be leg day. And yesterday was supposed to be leg day as well, but Hanny flopped yesterday. He didn't want to go to the gym. And today he's telling me he can't hit legs because he has hockey coming up and he doesn't want to be fatigued for it. Now, realistically, that is a good excuse. That is a valid excuse. However, it seems that he doesn't want to hit legs with me because I have yet to hit legs with him and Lucas. Now, Lucas is in here today. He went to college or rather university. So, I mean, Lucas isn't necessarily dodging it, but Hanny on the other hand, I got to train him the right way. But we're hitting a big back day today, back and biceps to be exact, guys. And I have recently gotten a new pre-workout. So I got the Ghost, the Ghost, what is it? Blue Raspberry pre-workout. Now, I don't recommend taking pre-workout, guys. It's not necessarily something that you need to do. And once you start doing it, you're probably gonna enjoy it so much to the point where you don't wanna give it up. And I'm kinda at that level. It became a ritual. It's not necessarily something that I need before the gym, however, it's amazing before the gym, right? You sit in the car, you listen to the right music to get into your like vibe and whatnot, and you drink your pre-workout. So, I mean, that's always enjoyable, especially because like I said, guys, I like to go in the gym. I like to make sure that I make every freaking set count, which if you guys aren't doing, it's probably why you're not seeing gains. You gotta push close to failure, and you gotta make sure that you're pushing yourself in general. But I should also mention, because creatine is something that a lot of people take. Now, creatine, there's two things I want to talk about with it. Number one is when you should take it. So me personally, I enjoy taking it before the gym, closely, like really close to the gym, like 15 minutes prior, because what it does is it allows me to have more performance throughout my exercise, throughout my workout, and have more muscular endurance. So I find it is most optimal to take prior to the gym. However, some people like to take it right after. So, I mean, between those two, I would see which works for you best, which one you feel you're seeing the most out of or feeling the most out of, because again, it's not, you're not gonna bulk up like someone on steroids when you take creatine, that's a false assumption that a lot of people have, but it will help with your endurance, it will help with your water retention, but the number one thing for me, guys, is the performance ability that it has. I do realize that I am able to work out not necessarily longer, but at a higher level for longer. So I can work out with my weights a little bit longer than I typically do, like heavier weights, for longer duration. So that's why I recommend doing it. Now five grams a day is all you need. And I believe, yes, yeah, so this one is monohydrate. So that's the only one that I personally get, is just the monohydrate. Doesn't really matter what freaking brand. I just get all max because a thousand grams, I do the math there, was that? <laughs> five to thousand divided by five. What was that, 200? I wanna say 200, hopefully my math isn't wrong. I might have to cut this from the video, but 200 servings, which isn't too bad. Five times 200, yeah, it's 200. Okay, thankfully I got that correct. <laughs> I'm not just the gym, bro. But also I wanna talk about fact of creatine loading. Okay, now I'm not necessarily a big believer in that. Now I don't know the science behind it. However, I've never creatine loaded, which is taking 20 grams for four scoops a day for seven days prior to even starting taking it because I just think that's a marketing scheme. Now, I don't want to fall, spread false information, guys, but I'm just saying on behalf of what I have experienced, I've done five grams forever and I've still experienced the same results that someone would probably do if they did seven or sorry, four scoops for seven days and then got into the one scoop a day. But again, play around with it, whatever works for you guys. I do believe there's a bit of placebo when it comes to it. Uh, there's a lot of <laughs> studies about the whole placebo thing that we can go into, which I'm thinking about you know, doing a little trick on Hanny to see if that's real. So to put into perspective what placebo is, guys, it's basically your belief in something having an effect that doesn't actually have that effect. So what I plan on doing with Hanny, which I need to kind of develop a strategy for it, is to give him a form of die ball, D ball or whatever, one form of steroids that's in a pill form, but it's not actually gonna be steroids, guys. It's gonna be like vitamins or sugar pills. And I wanna see if the placebo effect actually occurs on him. Whether I do it with him or somewhere else, I'm not sure. Cause I don't, again, I don't wanna promote people taking steroids. And I've always been one to say, stay natural, do what you can with your body unless you're trying to compete. But it would be cool to see if the placebo effect is real. And I mean, it's not necessarily gonna work on me, especially cause I'll be on the inside of it. But I'm gonna see if I can make that work with some people because I am curious to know that study, if it's whether or not it's true. Cause there are studies about that where they give athletes 
fake pills that they tell them that is steroids and they actually perform better because it is a belief right so it kind of stems in the belief system of yourself that's why whenever i'm going for heavy pr guys if i mentally don't think i can hit it there's really no point in me trying because i need to come in with the attitude that i'm going to get it done or else that self-doubt is just going to lead to me not being able to do it. It's going to be like me justifying to myself. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, I told myself I couldn't do it. And that's wrong. But enough chit-chat. We're going to go pick up Haney. We are working out at his home gym, which is in Georgetown. So it's going to be a little change of atmosphere, which I always enjoy. And the drive's nice. So that's going to be my pre-workout session there where I listen to the tunes. We'll see you guys when we get Haney. So Haney, how come you're skipping uh, leg day with me, bro? Why are you scared of leg day? Huh? I got, I got hockey Thursday, bro. I can't be hitting legs with Chris. You're scared of leg day with me, eh? Bro, my legs would be cooked for hockey. I wouldn't be able to skate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. You have one song, right? Yeah. You for a PR on the bench. You're about to hit two plates. No, you can hit it. What song are you listening to? Uh, some Brazilian funk or some shit. I don't know well, which gotta, one. You gotta be specific. Violet. I would just go through my playlist and find the one that I'm feeling in the moment. Yeah? I, like, I don't just pick one. I just got to like feel one PR in the song, moment. A set PR song? I just got to feel it in the moment. Yeah? Yeah. All right, we'll feel it in a moment right now. Let's see the pull-ups. All right, bet. Let's see it. Here's, here's the question though. What's the most impressive lift in the gym? Uh, What's the most impressive thing? You go in the gym, you see someone doing it, you're like, holy fuck, that guy's sick. Heavy squats. Heavy squats? Heavy squats. You think that's more impressive than like a muscle up? That's also impressive too. <laughs> a weighted muscle up would be impressive. A weighted muscle up. So yeah. which one though? You gotta choose one. Probably the weighted muscle up. A weighted muscle up? Yeah. What are you gonna hit then on the weighted muscle up? Probably like two plates, some light. <laughs> Let's grab you up. <laughs> nah, no way. Okay, Hanny, I have a question for you. But before you answer, I want the people to also answer. But I'm gonna start off. So I'm curious, what's three things that you would absolutely hate if you forgot prior to going to the gym? Number one for me, and I feel like it's universal, is a water bottle. Right? If I'm pulling up to the gym, I gotta use the water fountain. It's not a good day. And sometimes I won't even lie, I forget my water bottle in my car and I'm just too lazy to, well, I'm not too lazy, but I'm more locked in, you know, to go get it from my car. Now, the second thing, which let's be honest, guys, there's no way I'm getting a good heavy workout in if I don't have these. If I'm not listening to the right music, man, I got to listen to like the universal music. It's not going to be a good lifting session. There's been a couple times that I've hit legs without any music and that's absolutely lame. And then the last one is still something I got to think about, but I mean, for me personally, and this is subjective, is using wrist wraps. Like if I don't got my wrist wraps on a chest day, it's going to be a little iffy on my wrist. But even bands, I feel like I haven't left, like forgot my bands ever. So I can't really like talk about that too much. But if I don't have my bands, I can't really get a nice warm up in. So I guess bands then number three, but comment down below what you guys, what your top three are. I am curious, you know, Water's gotta be on there for everyone though. Water and, I feel like water and headphones are universal. But I mean, that third one's kind of the tricky one. So Hanny, what about you though? So yeah, for me, the first one, water bottle. If I don't got my water bottle, it's over. It's over. Cause I'm always, I'm, I'm always drinking water after a set, a heavy set. My second one, headphones. You're just I, mocking me, bro. Bro, no, bro. <laughs> it's like, if I don't got my headphones, it's, I'm not walking in. Okay, what's the last one? My last one, mentality. Um, My mentality's at home. I'm not going to get a good lift in. You know what? That's it. That's a good one. That's yep. a good one. You're not in the right mindset. That's yep. right. I like that. Got to lock are you in. Now? We're hitting no? uh, dumbbell rows. Dumbbell rows. Sorry? Dumbbell rows. Barbell. Barbell rows. Fuck. You doing two plates? Fuck yeah. Okay, I see it. Fuck yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. See it. No, I'll injure my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't ego lift. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> you ready for this? Yep. Yeah. 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 Back and I'm better than ever. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen her. 
all of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I ooh. I swear I shoot like Berettas. Yeah, yeah. They getting nervous, I seen it. What I seen, you wouldn't believe it. They said they wanted, I need it. Damn. I'm going dumb like I dropped out of class. Get in my lane and I'm going right past. I turn it up, watch me go to the max. You ain't it first and you know that you last. I thought I told them I'm coming right back. I got a flows like it came from the tap and I came from my city that's right on my back. Ooh. Back and I'm better than ever. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. All of those signs getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I, ooh. I swear I shoot like Berettas. Back and I'm better than ever. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. All of those signs getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I, ooh. I swear I shoot like Berettas. That's how I shoot. Lately I'm driven like I'm on the road. They in my lane, I got told on the move. Now that I'm popping, got too much to lose. Look at the numbers, got nothing to prove. I'm in the city, just me and my crew. Told me I'm sick and I know that it's true, but I'm still gonna boss like I got a flu. Yeah, run it up, I told them that I'm coming back. So let me get all of that. Time is now, I'm coming around to get a check. Said I need my taxes back. Over time, I'm getting mine to get in line. And it's with no respect that I told them all about the ball, getting chips. Feeling like Kobe Shaq. Back and I'm better than ever. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. All of those signs getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They get not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I, ooh. I swear I shoot like Berettas. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out Handy Man, I really am impressed by that guy, man. When I was 15 years old, I didn't have no guidance in the gym and whatnot, so I definitely would be very happy to be in a position where he is, where you got the right guidance from myself, of course. <laughs> but no, honestly, guys, if you're starting off the gym, don't be afraid to ask questions to people that you see that are in shape because you, if you want to get to where they want to be, there's certain things that they do. And it only makes sense to learn from the people that have what you want in life, especially when it comes to the gym, because there is a certain method to the madness that gets them the results that they have. But it also comes down to your work ethic, which I need to say a second thing about Hanny is that motherfucker puts in the work. I work out with some people and I'll push them and they complain and they'll argue back with me, which I ain't gonna lie, as someone who trains people, that is the most annoying thing ever. If you're there to work out, and you trusted me to put you through the right workout, you gotta understand, I know what I'm talking about, and if you wanna see results, you gotta make sure you're working out intensely. But of course, intensely with the right uh, form and right warm up, the right way, the right intensity, needless to say. But some people have it, some people don't. Hanny has it, I tell him to do three more reps after he struggles to get one more done with assistance, of course, and he still fucking does it. So shout out Handy for that. Definitely gonna be more videos with him. Lucas was not able to come to this because he was in the most previous video that we did in Georgetown, but he will be back. I think actually this weekend we're gonna get a workout in with him, so we'll definitely get a video in again. But again, shout out those guys that are putting in work, and shout out you guys. If you're new, hit that sub button. We're on route to 2,000 subscribers by the end of September. Now we were supposed to hit it by the end of August, which we did not hit, but remember guys, it's not about the journey, sorry, it's not about the goal, it's about the journey to the goal that develops you as a person. And then it's the most important thing because if you're not gonna enjoy every day that you're working towards something, what the fuck are you working towards, guys, realistically speaking? But hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment down below what you guys plan on doing this winter. Are you gonna ball up in the cut? I'm very curious. And if you guys ever have any questions, you guys can comment down below or follow me on Instagram. You guys do not want to miss the content that's going to be coming to Instagram, so hit that follow button on the Instagram. But also hit the post on the page bell because we got a lot of new videos coming out. Very exciting news for you guys and exciting content because you know what? This world is small and we only have limited time in this world, so we got to make every moment count. Have a blessed day, guys, and find your impetus. Goodbye.